Hi, everybody. I am here with Judy Lynn, who is a psychic medium, one of her many hats. Judy is also the education coordinator for Soul Center, which originates in upstate New York and is completely online and delivers free events and classes for those who are on their spiritual journey, seeking to have more resources, more support, and more, I would say, union with like-minded friends, right, Judy? <laughs> yeah, it's a great group. It really is a great group. Uh, we yes. gather every Wednesday at 6.30. And we have been doing this for over a year, almost two now. Awesome. And it's 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 developing momentum and followers. Um, I'm super excited to be offering a class. And thank you, Judy, for asking me. On December 29th, it is a preview to my six-week course with mentorship for Ascending Through Self-Love, Becoming the Divine. The, the, the architect of your divine inner temple, which is a process. So it, do, it does take time to work through that over a few weeks. And it's a lifelong process for sure, as you know, that you work on as well. So Judy and I have known each other for a long time. And we first met at the Institute for Spiritual Development, where we did a lot of our early work together. So Judy, if you want to just introduce yourself and just talk about your work now and what you do, and then we'll kind of go from there and see where this goes. Okay. I'm Judy Lynn. I'm a psychic medium. Um, and I love doing that. I love connecting with spirit just as much as I love connecting with the people, um, that come to me. Uh, the healing process is amazing that when we connect and we actually have that link with the spirit world, it still amazes me. You know, you'll still see my mouth drop open every now and then, um, with the information that is received. Um, and really the soul center is a place for me to learn also, um, and bring in the, so much information comes from every Wednesday night and the, the topics that come up and we're always searching for more topics. So I do in-person readings um, right now in my office in Earlville, New York, and um, that's at 5 East Main Street. And you can view that on my webpage at judylynn.org um, under the blog se section, there is um, pictures of my office space. So if you're interested in that, I like Amanda mentioned, um, I didn't start at the Institute for Spiritual Development, but that was the most beneficial place for me to go. And I don't even know how many years ago that was. Um, Almost I saw four, Diana, maybe, right? Yeah, that, yeah. I saw Diana before that in her office. Yeah. She was giving uh, classes and, a, oh my God, a place for like-minded people to come together. It was like a breath I could take finally, you know. So I did a lot of my education through that um, organization and I love that, that place. Um, since COVID, unfortunately, that place has changed. Um, but we still get together. People still get together um, yeah. and, and, and um, love each other. And what we do, we each do something different and it's okay. It's okay to be different, right? And, and we all have our special abilities and our superpowers. So um, it, it is really fun like to get together with you, Amanda. You know, you're so much fun and I just absorb all the energy that you're giving me. Aww. And I just love that about you. And, and it really is about everybody at the, soul, at the um, Institute for Spiritual Development, ISD. Yeah, thank you for saying that because it's so powerful. And us who came together at ISD, when we all came together, when it started, it was like this most magical mm -hmm. magnetism of like-minded souls who were doing this work by themselves and came together in such a communion and such an unconditional loving atmosphere. And it became like a doorway. And then as we all grew, we then started our own hubs per mm -hmm. se, so that we can help offer that to others. And that is still a beautiful place. And right. even though we're all kind of online right now, it was destiny to be online because we were able to reach more people. I know and I've really thrived since uh, yeah. you know, 2000, 2020 on the online resources and this development online. It's like, wow take off super speed. Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. And the soul center. So you said spiritual oasis, universal learning center. And the beauty about that is it's all free. And it's not like, you know, I think the cool part is, is you're giving a lot of introductions to ways that people can access the, the people, the teachers, the, the learning in a deeper way. So you're kind of like this intro again, a doorway, these beautiful doorways. It's a doorway. It's a yeah. doorway. 
And I connect you with the people, you know, Linda and I, Linda and I do this as co-creator of the Soul Center. We do this and we connect people with people that they need uh, on both sides. Yeah. So, you know, from genealogy to astrology, to numerology, to palm reading, to psychic work, mediumship work, yeah. um, soul ascension work. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much, so much, so, much. There's so many topics. Yeah. And, um, and, and in this, yeah, in the spiritual realm and it's, it's unending and it's, yeah. the cool part is it changes every day and then new things come in every day. And, and we were talking earlier, we were talking about how fast it is, like, you know, the, how the speedy process of once you kind of awaken and open up to something else is going on here, right? Mm -hmm. Some, yeah. Something else is happening here that's really beautiful, but I really need to look at myself and heal while I'm understanding what this beautiful piece right. is. Right. And then, and then you, and then that's what I talk about in my classes like that. You step into that higher self embodiment once you start that journey. And when you do, it does, it happens pretty fast. It does happen fast, faster than most people realize. You know, I know that being a psychic medium or it takes years, but it doesn't anymore. No, <laughs> what people do in, you know, in my eight week course, my six week course took me six to eight months. Yeah. Right. I mean, just yep. because I had to travel once a month for what a half hour, an hour, we got together. Right. Um, and now you can do that five days a week mm -hmm. without leaving your home. You know, you can absorb as much as you, you can are able to do. And really, I've I have I know some fine mediums and psychics that have only been at this six months. And it's purely amazing. Yeah. And when we were doing our courses together in the beginning and we were getting messages for each other, right? it just comes right away. That ability, because we all have that innate ability. It's just, we weren't taught from a young age, like in other, com in other communities and societies and cultures were, we weren't. So when you start to unlock those mm -hmm. gifts, they do come in very quickly. Yep. Validating right. your evidence. Yeah. You know, is the most important thing when you're starting to, to communicate with spirit world, you need that validated to do that. You need other people to say yes or no. So you can learn, is this your imagination or not? Yeah. Um, so building your confidence is so important. So important. And, and it's with healing, like doing Reiki or doing healing, doing meditation. And even if you're not interested in becoming a medium, but if you're interested in just having that higher self connection through meditation, it's the same Avenue. It's the yep. same doorway. So the really cool. wonderful part about that is if you're able to make that connection, you start to be able to trust it more and more and more. And then you start to trust yourself. And I think that's a huge lesson on this journey, Judy. I, and I know, oh, you're, I know you agree with me is learning how to trust yourself because nope. we're not taught in society to trust ourselves. No, nope. no, nope. it's nope. yeah. Right. It is. It's the, it's, it's, that's what I tell my students. It's the most important thing you have to trust and if you know, you have to trust your right or you have to trust your wrong and then learn from it. Right. Yeah. We learn from our wrongs. We, we have to, or, you know, we won't grow. I mean, that's in life too. We have to learn. Um, so that's yeah, it's, process, amazing. Right? it's amazing. <laughs> every, every healer, um, and I call psychic mediumship healers, we're heal healers too, but you know, we all have to have that confidence and you'll see it in people and you'll see those that need it still. Right. Right. Um, and you're just kind of, I know I do. I'd kind of give them a little boost, you know, a little shove, you know, yeah, you got it. You did it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good job. Let's do it again. You know, let's do it again. Yeah. Let's try it this way. Uh, maybe that one didn't work for you. So let's do this. You know, there's not everybody learns at the same rate or they learn by the same thing. So we have to offer as teachers, we have to offer different things. It's like you said earlier, and I see it in my meditation circles too, in development circles. When I, when people come and then they start meditating and on the first time I'm taking them into the dreams, dreamscape and they're getting images, they're getting, um, they're getting words, they're getting messages and it surprises people the first time. And then, you know, it, it's, it's working to trust that. No, yeah, you did get something. You didn't yeah. imagine that you were, you, you ascended into a higher state of consciousness in that moment so that you could get some beautiful, loving messages. And the, the part of the, part of the pieces of the work that I do is that we can stay in that higher resonance. We can stay there throughout the day, 
we don't have to, you know, we can stay in that ascended state for very long periods of time as we're processing our healing. Yes. And you can go there at any time you need to. Yes. You can it's go there always whenever. available. Always available. Right. Right. Always the available. doors are always open. I just thought I saw an orb go by you. Did you? <laughs> or a fly. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I was like, oh, I'll have to replay this and see. Um, yeah. So yeah, the doors are, you know, just walk through the door. You know? Yeah. I urge everybody to walk through the door because you, you got to see what's on the other side of this. Yes. And it's the courage to walk through your own door to go within because there are, you know, there are those lower aspects and a lot of people work their whole lives and they're in that busy train and they never really take the time to look at those. And then we're kind of in those states of fear and doubt and, you know, the lower states, sadness, anger, and we can't ever come out of them because we never actually look at them and we have to look at them to heal them. Yeah. Oh, the and shadow then, work, right? Right. And then, you know, once you do, and you, you can, you can live in more joy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're living your joy right now. I am. I am. You had, you had a full-time different other job, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had full-time jobs. I've had part-time jobs. And then I said, nope, I'm working for me. I'm working for spirit. And so I have done that now. And I, I just love it, you know? Um, and I see a lot of other people doing it too. I'm not alone here. Yeah. A no. lot of people are leaving what they call their normal life and making one for themselves. Yeah. You know, they're, they're making their own life. Um, so does this support the life I'm trying to create? That's what I ask myself every day. Mm. Does this support the life I'm trying to create? So if you can answer that question with a positive, then you're on the right path. That is a beautiful statement. Beautiful question. Yeah. 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 And we were just talking before we started the video about how we're in this moment of transition. And so many people collectively in our country, we look at what's happening outside of us, are looking to transition into something different because it's been so hard. It's been so mundane. It's been so much suffering. And how do we transition outside of that? And I think that's one of my biggest teachings is that we don't do it outside of us. We do it within us. Within us. We do it within us. We can't change this world unless we change ourselves from within. Very true. Doesn't happen. There's no way. Uh, you don't no matter how hard we try. No, no. And I keep bouncing back to the old ways. You know, I keep, and I, and I'll, I pull myself back up, you know, because this, it doesn't serve you. So get out of it, you know, and um, we have to live our life free in the way we want to as much as we can. Obviously there are things that we have to do. Um, but, uh, my cat is just, is jumping in. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, others can support us and we need others for that support. Like we talked about in the beginning with ISD, but ultimately we have to do the work within because we're not, others can't fix this for us and we can't fix others. Not that we need to be fixed, but we do need to be healed. We all yeah. need to be healed on such a level that is, is remarkable, really. And I see everybody reaching out for that too, Amanda. Yeah. And that's so, what these services are for. Yeah. Right. People are reaching out for that. That's why I offer it, you know, free at the, we offer it free at the soul center. Um, I, I do classes, I think relatively inexpensive. Yeah. Um, you know, we're here every week, ISD, they have their, their classes um, there too. Um, so you can find the people you need because they're out there and the internet and being, I guess, shut in. I don't know if we're really shut in, but a lot of people have come inside to, to search the internet. You can find us there, right? Yeah. 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 And, and that's the beauty of what's changed over these last two years. That's the beauty because when we think about, I think about you and I and all of our counterparts at ISC and, and all of those doing this beautiful work now. We, when we came together, we, there weren't avenues for this and we came together. We were kind of like hermits doing our spiritual work for decades on our own. And right? I remember being, uh, Diana, we had a meeting at, at the hotel in Oneonta to see if we could bring the spirit, the ISD to Oneonta. So yeah. a I'm the founding member. It was 25 of us. I believe we had to have 25 people and that yeah, was a yeah. reach. It was hard. I think, you know, Are that many people showing people? up. 
yeah are we gonna get enough people it was amazing <laughs> right <laughs> and it grew into a, an awesome place you know and it still is an awesome place so yeah it's it's just funny how we when you need someone or something it's there you just need to look for it and you need to ask i always say when you need something from the universe say i need help yep i need help show or or i don't have the answer to this show me please mm-hmm. show me show me show me even if you're mad saying it show me and it, every time for me judy every time it shows up every it does. time you gotta believe yeah. in the signs if you look yeah. for them they are there yeah. I have to laugh. I just tell this really quick story because this is the, you know, the whole concept of Carl Jung and synchronicity. And I always say, it's not, it's not about synchronicity. It's about you understanding your consciousness is creating a reality. Mm-hmm. And I had a situation where, and you're one with all things, right? When you, when you surrender to the fact that you are one with all things, the universe works with you in really beautiful ways. So I, I, couldn't I do this protein shake every morning right and I have a seed that I put in it and I had it in a Ziploc bag and I don't remember the name of it because I've had it in the Ziploc bag for so long and I'm like I know it starts with an F I can't think of what it is and but I I just kept putting it to the side for a few days and I'm like it'll come I'll figure it out I'll just search it on Google and I kept forgetting about it right so all of a sudden I look one day and it's on the counter a brand new bag of it flax seed (laughs) <laughs> and just someone else had bought it for something else oh. and there it is and you know what I mean it's just one of those things that it, it yes yeah, it's a random thing about flaxseed but it's really important because yeah. it shows yes. up like yeah. we fight and just struggle so hard to try to get the things we need if we just let it go it just shows up it just shows up in the weirdest places yeah and the most divine magical ways yeah they're yep. so cool they are. I mean, talk about signs recently, my father's funeral. Yeah. Um, the, the cross in the sky. Oh, wow. There, you know, I looked up and there was a cross in the sky and then a hawk flew circled over his, you know, the, the cemetery and this random dog appeared that nobody knew. Who he was. What kind of dog was it? It was a golden lab. Wow. But he had a collar, but you know, I, I knew he met, that he'd met my father before. I mean, my father would visit the cemetery frequently because it's where his ancestors were buried. So but I'm just like, okay, you know, come on in, doggy. Our yeah. beautiful higher dimensional connection. We just got a golden retriever puppy. Oh. And the reason, like, and I kept getting signs for like a year about this golden, golden. Um And then it eventually came together. And for me, the golden represents like that ascended state of awareness, like having, having ascended. So the fact that that golden lab is at, you know, it just shows our group mind too. And you and I have been in circles together where we've created group mind, which is that connection. And, you know, people can say, oh, that's just a coincidence or whatever. But the more we do this work together, the more we step into that unity consciousness together, the more we see these beautiful connections. And Judy and I can tell you all, The ones that we've seen are even sometimes beyond being able to explain to people because they would just be like, what? Wow. What? Yeah. 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 It's almost like I would love to see, wouldn't you like to see the connect the dots over the last 50 years of your life? Yeah. 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 You know, like, wow. Oh, what does all all that look like? You know? Yeah. How did that fit with that? And that 10 years ago fit with what happened today? Yeah. And I know we all have had that, but I was just like, what does this picture look like? Yes. Uh, I was just at a dinner party Friday for Christmas and two people were there and I had mentioned my father passing and they asked for my father's name. So I told it and they said, oh my God, I knew a, a Marcy with that last name. And I said, that's my aunt. Yeah. You know, 50 years ago, they met <laughs> 50 yeah. years. Instead of six degrees of Kevin Bacon, I call it the six <laughs> degrees of divinity. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, you know, and I don't know these people. They don't know me. But yeah. they knew my aunt, my family, my, my family from 50 years ago, and probably my sisters because they played. I wasn't even really you know, old enough to remember. So yeah. it was amazing. It's all connected yep. in ways all we connected. can't understand. Yeah. yeah. And I try to surrender to that. I don't know everything because the way all these pieces come together, I could never fully construct myself. <laughs> there is much higher, higher dimensional plan here. Than- we would be the wise ones, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We but can. we can connect to that energy. We, can. we absolutely we can. can. And I have the a group 
also on Facebook. Um, it's called the Development Group for Mediums, Mystics, Psychics, Healers, and Lightworkers. So people I, can find that? Yeah, and I thought about shortening the name and everybody said, no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> I just tried to encompass most everybody in the yeah. spiritual form. Um, or another, I forgot, a uh, witchery or pagan and all that, but everybody's welcome to attend. In, yeah. in the, you know, whether you're Jewish or Muslim or well, yeah. welcome, you know, everybody. As long as you yeah. keep it kind, that's important in, in our life. All right. We have to be kind. Well, and that's a beautiful part of all of this is that we're coming together as spiritual beings, not religious beings. Yeah. No. yeah. That's the beautiful change in all of this. Using yeah. the wonderful teachings of all of those to, um, to open that door. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Be kind. Yes. All right, Judy, one more time, give your website and information for people if they would like to um, do a reading with you, which, and I will say, um, Judy is phenomenal. I will absolutely say that. I know that I've worked with you, the stuff um, I got to tell you too. There's so many people that come from readings from you and they just say, wow, that was amazing. Thank you, Amanda. So, you're Thank very you. welcome. So give your details again. It's very easy. JudyLynn.org. You can find Beautiful. everything you need there. J-U-D-Y-L-Y-N-N. -N 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 yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Amanda. You're so Thank bright. you. It's so good what talking a, to you. What a bright energy you are, honey. Oh, sweetie, you're so kind. Oh. You're so kind. And your connection to, to divinity is just, I, I saw in you in your eyes, in your heart, the minute I met you um, so many years ago. And those who come into your door are so blessed because they will have a healing experience no matter what the message is. Thank you. I'm crying. You know, you're tearing me up because we do spirit, this to each other. Left. It's spirit yeah. Left, like. yeah. Yeah. The divine in me sees the divine in you Thank and you. everyone. Namaste. Thank you. All right. Good, good chatting with you. Um, and we'll come together very soon with the yeah, um, 29th. The 29th, my class on the 29th. Yeah, and yeah. that's, again, that's free for anybody that wants to get a glimpse of what that six week um, piece will be. Yeah, you can and find those that. are divinely led to. You can find that link at judylynn.org also. It's the Spiritual Oasis Universal Learning Center on Facebook. Wonderful. Okay. And that's also on my Net of Love Facebook book community and private Facebook community if anybody wants to join that as well. Thank um, you. Thank and you I, yeah, thank you. And I just want to say really quick to these. Um, when you, when you shift out of, because a lot of people get stuck on the money part of it, right? Mm -hmm. When you shift out of it, not becoming about money and you know, it, 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 you do need to make a living, but when you're following divinity and I think it was Jason asked us that said it recently, he said, if you're doing something out of identity, it's not going to work anymore. If you're doing it for divinity and through divinity, then you are going to be in resonance with joy. I don't know if you said the resonance with joy part, but the identity divinity yeah. thing, I've been yeah. using it for the last yeah. two weeks. It's so brilliant. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, I, I give back. I do a free circle every Wednesday for psychic mediumship work. I do a free circle on Saturdays at 6.30 yeah. and I do the soul center on Wednesdays. You know, that's all completely free. Um, and everybody's welcome to, to attend, uh, whether you're a medium or not, if, if you're just want to come and observe to my circle, yeah. please feel free to do that. And, and I think the bigger, the biggest point here that I want to make is that when you're working through your divine connection, through your joy, through what you feel is your sole purpose, the money comes, it comes just as those beautiful synchronicities, the hawk, the golden dog. I mean, it just comes, it just comes. Yeah. It does. Like divinity I'm, does. I'm, it's proof. Yeah. <laughs> proof, yeah. There. proof there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You and I could talk all day. So we, we will finalize this. And again, judylynn.org. And thank you so much, Judy. I appreciate you so very much, my dear, dear friend. Thank you so much. All right.